survives a break point, leads 7 6 in the decisive third. History on the next page, perhaps, for Steffi Groff. Christine Truman, the youngest ever at 18 years and four months. Groff is uh, some eight days before her 18th birthday. Mo Conley was 18. Chris Everett, 19, when she won it in 74. Martina Navratilova serving 6 7. That was a painful previous game for her with that backhand volley right on the racket for break. Didn't make it. This is edging toward one of the longest ever women's French matches. This is the 34th game. using her slice so well. Pitbull. Notice how she keeps the ball yeah. low to Martina. She takes a short backswing, and that's what enables her to get it by Martina in time. It's just like a volley from the backboard, a little short punch. And Steffi just goes to the well one too many times down the line once again. You've got to keep mixing it up against Martina. Oh, and she does it so beautifully. She goes back down the line, sets her up over there, goes cross court for the nice tight little backhand. Ooh. It's long. 30 all. Martina made a tough play. Tough volley. She had to cover a lot of ground because Steffi's ball was in that range from the line to about four inches. And so Martina had to stretch all the way over there for that ball. First championship point. June 6, 1987. Youth Good. has been served Set. a double fault on championship point. Mademoiselle and Steffi Graf is the youngest ever woman to win the French Six. Open Tennis Championship. <laughs> Steffi Graf wins the French at 17. The new 
the champion of the French Open, the youngest ever, Steffi Graf of West Germany. Her 39th win in a row, her seventh straight tournament championship, the first German in 50 years to hoist that trophy. And what a one-two punch that gives Germany, Boris Becker and Steffi Graf and Martina Navratilova, heartbroken, double faults on match point, and thus is denied her third French title and will settle for the runner-up plate. Oh, the questions, and hopefully we'll have time to hear both from Steffi Graf and Martina Navratilova their feelings on this most dramatic 1987 final. Actually, I didn't thought I could win it at 5-3, but I know I was, um, I was really hanging in there, and you really helped me, all of you, you helped me, you know, to try harder. I know, I, th I think it was really such a close match, you know, after we had a match in the uh, years open, when it was 7-6 in the third. I never thought we could play another that close match. It was another one. And um, I have to say, um, somehow I'm happy, but somehow also I'm sorry I didn't win the match because I don't know, it was, it was, I don't know. Okay, thanks for coming here and I really enjoyed it very much and looking forward to next year. Bye -bye. have been close and this one was no different but uh, anyway I think you really uh, appreciated fine women's tennis that we played today and I would like to thank you for your support uh, because uh, it, you made it fun to play even though I lost you Disappointed because uh, it could have gone either way, but Steffi played better when it mattered, and uh, she deserved to win. So, congratulations. And I'd like to thank my parents and my family, and uh, all my coaches and friends, Judy, Renee, Joe, Randy. Uh, sorry. Hopefully, I I'm sure that I'll be back here next year. So uh, if you stick around, maybe one of these days I'll finally win it. Thanks a lot. And of course, Martina will have a chance to win another doubles championship, teaming with Pam Shriver in the finals tomorrow against Steffi Graf and her partner, Gabriella Sabatini. Touching moment, wasn't it, as Steffi Graf at less than 18, happy to win, and you really sensed her feeling that she was also sad that she had beaten Martina. And I, don't think either one was happy with the final point. That's not the way Groff wanted to win it on a double fault, nor the way that Martina would have served it to her. A champion, a number one on the left, a woman who's only lost twice in the last 12 calendar months and is on an incredible 39 match win streak. And there's her countryman, Boris Becker, who will try to win three Wimbledons in a row in a couple of weeks. What a one-two punch, both teenagers. The Suzanne Longland Cup. <laughs> 